Hi there, once again I arrived to my uh, usually fishing spot well I'm the other side because my fishing spot is on the other side of the road but to my surprise the water it's a little bit bigger than it used to be last week and before that so I'm really excited because I have a new fishing road and I have a couple new baits so I'm looking forward to test them so Let's get the bait in the water and stay tuned. I have this spinning tail bait, but it's really heavy and I kind of... I'm kind of anxious to throw it in. I can't believe that. <laughs> I was about to say <laughs> I'm kind of scared to throw it in because it's heavy and it's full with vegetation. And I just got a fish first cast just at my foot that was something unexpected i read on the internet that perch love this bait but i didn't thought this much with the first cast whoa whoa what a nice feeling it has the spinning tail in this muddy water that tail comes just right they can see it What the hell is wrong with the hook? They don't stay on the hook. I lost the second fish. What just happened? I lost the second fish because it doesn't stay on the hook. But technically I got two fishes until now. Three casts with this bait and two fishes. So that's a pretty good ratio, I would say. But the feeling what it gives when you reel it back I think you can see on my end of the road It gives a really nice like shake and Let's throw it a little bit further I'm not sure about the vegetation I don't want to snag it and lost it. It's the first time when I try it. I watched the fish taking the bite. Small perch. Let's release it. Oi! Chill, man! He was not happy with this... with this experience. So my hand stink as fish. That's a good sign for today. But I guess I snagged some weed because I don't feel the vibration for the tail. What happened? Yep. Okay, I got a new plan. I leave my baits in my car and I'm going a little bit further just with top water. I have the whopper plopper and I have a frog because I saw some beautiful pieces jumping. Maybe even winter until next summer the vegetation will go down so you can fish with normal baits. But for the moment I just got top water to be safe because I don't want to lose any, any baits if it's not necessary. The best feeling is when you fish top water and the pike is just jumping from under the water like this to catch it. Best feeling in the world. This water is pretty slow as well, so maybe, maybe we find some pike. I don't know the, under the water how fast it is, but on the surface it looks kinda, kinda chill. Initially I saw other place where the fishes are jumping but I can't get to fish there so this is the only window I found here. So I came back to my spot. The water is bigger this last time but still very small. I'm throwing a couple times like that from the shore and if not then I'm going in the water and try it like last time I caught, I caught that big pike. 
basically I'm gonna go around this part and throw under the trees because here it's just full with weed under the surface I, mean, I don't know if this was a weed or fish it was weed <laughs> they caught something but it was big but they don't have a, a landing net so I guess went away but it did some nice big splashes they are fishing with float That's a nice place to fish where they are. We can catch some nice pieces there, but it's not that easy to access because it's full with branches and stuff. But hey, I got my big boys pants. In the same spot I Caught last time the big pike. Hopefully, with the spoon, I can get another one. Last time I was with the whopper plopper, but this time I'm hoping for the spoon. I don't see this every time. Hope this fish got hooked. <laughs> 